Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna talk about reflection over y axis or reflection over lines like x equals a, which are nothing else than vertical lines. So let's see the first example. The first example is uh, talking about reflecting the segment AB with those given endpoints uh, over the y axis. So let's plot the first one. Okay, so that is the point A, 4 and 7, and that is the y-axis, so basically now we're just going to count how far away point A is from the y-axis, which is 4 units away, of course, because the y was 4, we're going to move 4 units away to the left to get the point A prime, Oops, wrong. Negative four and seven. And basically now we can uh, try to get a rule four and seven under this reflection becomes negative four and positive seven. So the rule is xy becomes negative x and positive y. So in other words, x switch and y stay the same. So now we can do the point B using this rule. The point is 2 and negative 3. And uh, B prime will be, again, x switch becomes negative 2 y stays negative 3. We can see that also by plotting. Let's do that also. And you can see that also on the graph. Let's take a look to the next example. This one is asking us to reflect the same segment AB, but now over x equals negative 2. x equal is a vertical line, negative 2. Obviously, here that means 2 units to the left. And let's start to 4 and 7. This is point A, 4 and 7. We want to reflect it over x equals negative 2. We're going to count how far away point A is from the line of reflection, which is 6 units away. We're going to keep moving 6 units away. And this is the point A prime, which is going to be nothing else than negative 8 and 7. Go ahead and try to do point B. Pause the video clip and let's see what you get. So if you end up with this answer for point B prime, B prime is uh, 6 and negative 3, then you get a very good job. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back 
on C square for more uh, clips. Thank you.